This current challenge is called funny string. In this video, I want to explain how you can better break down instructions of coding challenges to come up with more efficient solutions. So here we need to determine if a string is funny or not. To determine that, they want us to create a copy of a string in reverse, and then we're going to iterate through each string. We are going to compare the absolute differences in ASCII values for every character at position 0 and 1, 1 and 2, and so on, up until the end. And then if the list of absolute differences for both strings are the same, then the original string was a funny string. What they are asking us to do looks a bit like this, and you don't have to follow your breakdown. I recommend you pause the video now to read what is here. They want you to create a copy of the string, then iterate through that string, compare the absolute differences, store the differences in a list or an array, repeat the steps two to four for the reverse string, and then compare at the end if the two lists of absolute differences are the same. These are too many steps for such a simple challenge. So I recommend you do something like this instead. You can have a single iteration. You don't need any copy. You are simply going to have two pointers. We're going to call them i and j, and we're going to use them to access characters at different indices in our original string. So i will go from the beginning until the end of the string, and j will go from the end towards the beginning. At every iteration, we're going to compare the absolute differences for the characters. And if at any point, at any iteration, the comparison fails, then we can stop everything and conclude that the original string was not a funny string. So in code, this is what it looks like. This is our function. We are getting the original string as a parameter, and we have a single for loop here. So we have i and j here. They are both being initialized at the same time. So j starts at the end. i has to go from the beginning up until the second to last index in the array. And j has to go from the end towards the second element in the array. And the reason why we don't want them to hit their respective ends is because here we are using i plus 1 and j minus 1. And we don't want to go out of bounds. So at every iteration, i increases, but j decreases. And we're using this condition at every iteration to get the absolute difference, just like I explained, i and then i plus 1 and j with j minus 1. So these are the characters at their respective indices. If at any point this condition evaluates to true, it means that the difference was not the same. And I'm referring to the absolute difference here. So in this case, we can stop everything and return not funny. Otherwise, if the loop was able to finish and this condition never evaluated to true, then we know that the string was a funny string. And so we return funny. If you want to know why I am returning not funny and funny, it's because this is what they want us to return right here in the instructions. So I'm going to run this code now. We've passed sample test case zero and also test case one. So now I'm going to submit this code and we should be able to pass all the 10 test cases. So that's it guys. I hope you get a better idea of how to break down challenges and you don't always have to take everything literally. You can always come up with your own creative way of solving coding challenges. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications and I'll catch you next time.